how do you add your church announcements into OBS Studio so that your live stream can see them? That's what we're going to show you on today's video. Hey everyone, Ryan Scott from churchsetup.com here again with another video tutorial for OBS. Uh, there's, we've covered doing images, we've covered doing videos, and this, this video is actually going to kind of uh, regurgitate some of that stuff uh, because there's only a couple of ways that you can bring in your church announcements into a live stream. And uh, you can do it with a video, you can do it with images, or you can do it with your uh, NDI source from ProPresenter, or maybe it's a direct source or whatever. Um, you can you can also do it if you wanted to in like PowerPoint or something and just capture that screen. There's so many different ways. The easiest ways to do it are number one, if you have ProPresenter or a tool like that, and uh, you can set up the NDI source to come into OBS, which a lot of people do. That's where you get your lyrics and stuff like that. Um, then that's the way to do it. Uh, and if you're interested in doing it that way, we're going to make a tutorial on bringing NDI into OBS pretty soon. Till then, we'll link down to a tutorial below that you can click through and see how to do the NDI source from like ProPresenter. However, if you don't want to do that and you don't want to try to mess with uh, the NDI source or maybe your network's just not high enough uh, speed to, to handle something like that, you can put images or a video file right into OBS and accomplish basically the same thing. So I'm going to take you over to OBS and I'm just going to run through this real quick so that you can see how it's done. Um, in OBS here, we have our scenes, we have our sources, we have our audio mixer, our transition and our controls over here, preview and program like normal. Um, so if I wanted to add announcements, I would just add a scene, which I have done here. It has no sources in it yet. And uh, I would either add a video file by going to the plus in sources and clicking media source and just choosing a video file. What I used to do a lot of times um, in, in our church uh, is that I would take a bunch of images and I was designing them in, in Photoshop or Canva. I would take a bunch of 1080 by or 1920 by 1080 images. And then I would jump into like Final Cut Pro and I would paste the images back to back, you know, time them out and fade them one to the other and then save that as one long video that I could loop. And that was my announcement video that would play on the screens and just keep playing over and over again. So if I was going to do that, I would just go into OBS here. I would go into announcements and I would add that video file. I would make sure that it looped and uh, I would do it that way. But another way to do that is just to add an image slideshow like I showed before. Um, you can choose it to to fade in and out automatically and you'll want it to loop and you'll want to click right here to add the images, add files. And we're going to go back and try to find that file that we were talking about before. I'm going to go and downloads. Here it is. And uh, if these were all of the images, all of these images were my announcement slides. I just opened. They're all in there. And now um, I have all my announcements. They're going to play automatically. If I want to skip one really quick, I can, I'll let that skip automatically. I can click to next and manually go to the next one. Um, but now they're all in there and I can transition to that anytime that I want. And I have all of my announcements in there. So that's probably the two ways that I would do it. I would either add the, um, I would add the video file that's looped, or I would just add a bunch of images into an image slideshow, let them loop on automatic switching back over. And, you know, if during a certain song or whatever you wanted to play the announcements, then you could just launch that slideshow and it'd play over and over and over again, fading one to another very, very simply. Um, the only thing that I would consider if you have someone that talks through the announcements and you want to switch the slides as they're talking, you'll want to turn off the automatic transition and go manual, which, uh, which means clicking this little, um, button down here. Let me cut back to OBS, this little button down here. That'll make you go, um, to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. That way you manually, um, control the timing of the slides changing. So if you have like a fall party and somebody's talking about the fall party, the announcement slide isn't going past and talking about something else completely different, but you can stop it on that slide while you talk about it. When they talk about the next thing, you can go to the next slide and that's just manually control. If you wanted to um, control it through OBS, um, you could put a new scene 
for every single image if you wanted. You could add one um, scene here and just add a bunch of images and show them and hide them um, if you wanted to in the sources. It's probably, there's no reason to know that you can do it that way. Um, those two ways that I showed you are the best. So you either add an image, a slideshow, a single image, or you add a video file and that's the easiest way to do it. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions about OBS or live streaming, it's, you can send them to support at churchsetup.com and we'll try to answer them in our next video. But thank you for watching. Subscribe so you get the next video and we will see you hopefully on the next video. Have a good day.